Let me tell you all a story about what the dude's been up to the last few years. Now, the trucking empire didn't quite work out for the dude, so he decided to try his hands on a heavier type of trucking, heavyweight transport. Yes, this time the dude was gonna transport heavy cargo. The dude's new life began in a parking lot, reminiscent of a 1997 Nintendo 64 game. The first thing the dude needed to do is find a truck. There was just a truck standing around in the parking lot, and by simply clicking on the truck, the truck was the dude's. Welcome to Ron Paul's America. Now, the first thing the dude noticed was just how buggy the camera was. It was real bad to turn to the left and right, and uh, driving wasn't a uh, peach either. The first mission the dude had was to pick up his actual heavy cargo. The arrow that was pointing to the cargo's location was kind of pointing off the road, so the dude wasn't sure if he's supposed to drive off the road or follow the road or what have you. But the dude knew one thing, the driving was horrific. The dude sat out on the road, hoping to find a way to get to where the arrow was pointing. The dude noticed the road looked horrible, and the entire world looked really, really bad. The driving controls in American Long Haul might have been bad, but the driving controls in this game are far, far worse. You simply cannot stay in the lane, and... The lanes are so small, especially compared to your gigantic truck, that it's literally impossible. And once you get the gigantic uh, haul, your truck becomes that much more bigger, and you will see how completely impossible it is to stay in any lane. The dude just decided to drive off the road because it was the safest and quickest way to get to his destination. The dude didn't feel like he incurred any penalty driving on the grass, not even a speed penalty, and it seemed a lot safer because there are no sharp turns like on the dangerous, tiny roads of this horrible-looking world. The dude was finally at his cargo destination. The dude slowly turned, thinking he's supposed to go into a garage, but what he was supposed to do was just pick up the cargo out there near the garage. So foolishly, the dude simply drove headfirst into the garage, losing thousands of dollars in damages. Five thousand dollars down the drain. The dude knew this is going to be a really tricky and annoying part. Just like an American long haul, you have to slowly back up to pick up the cargo. The problem is, once the car gets going, it either goes or it stops to a dead haul. So, there's no going and stopping slowly. You're either stopped completely or you're gradually moving. It's really annoying and it's nothing like real car driving. The two mirrors didn't help the dude much either. He needed to use third person, but even third person didn't work out for picking up the cargo. And the mirrors were just annoying. The dude wasn't sure which mirrors which, which mirrors pointing to what direction, and the death perception was horrible. The dude was amazed he picked up the cargo on the first try. But the dude did notice one thing. Because the cargo was so big, it was now virtually impossible to drive in third person. Making this game that much more worse, because driving in first person in horrific games like this is way harder than driving in third. You have no depth perception here. You don't know where your truck ends and where it begins. For all you know, your truck is as big as the entire road in this first person perspective. And good luck getting out of things when you're stuck. Someplace like this or in a tree. This is simply not a good game. 
I dare say this is one of, if not the worst, simulator games ever made. So just to recap, any kind of depth perception that you have in third person goes out the window in first person. As you can see here, I might as well be driving a tank. There's no way I can avoid hitting the street lights or the fences. And uh, the game did one thing, right? It didn't put any uh, other cars on the road, making uh, it completely unrealistic and cheap and budget. But at least it makes the driving a little easier as you're not crashing into any other cars. So in any other game, it would be a complete taboo and horrible not to have other cars on the road. In this game, I'm kind of thankful there are no other cars on the road. At least there's a radio station. There's really, seriously, no point whatsoever to stay on the road. I'm going 38 to 40 miles an hour on the road. If I go out on the grass, I can cut literally half of my commute off. And I would be going the same exact speed, and there's virtually no penalty that I could ever find. So here we are. Holland propane and propane accessories through a village. Hello Amish farm, I'm the dude. Would you like some propane? Okay then, I'll move on. Driving in this game? Well, it's pretty real time. So, actually getting to your destination is gonna take forever just like an American long haul. Why is this game worse than American long haul? Well, the driving is worse, the graphics are very visibly worse, there are no other cars on the road that you can find, and the camera is unbelievably bad, and it's even worse to maneuver. I dare anyone to maneuver the camera. It will make you rip your genital hair out, and then put it into a bowl of propane and eat it and call it propane and genital hair soup. That's what the dude eats on his long hauls of propane. Now the dude kept switching to third person and to first person trying to find that happy medium where you can be in third person and see where you're driving but alas it was impossible because of the gigantic hole you have. Why even make a third person if it's impossible to see where you're going in third person when you're hauling? It makes no sense. The dude noticed he was about to uh, get to his destination, so he quickly looked at a map. He didn't see himself on the map, but he just looked at the map to see what's going on. And as he looked at the map, the car flipped over for no reason. The dude was going straight, there was no hill, and the car just flipped over. Like, BAM! There it is! I'm going to fall over and die. The car subconsciously just wants to die and, and leave this horrible looking world. The car knows that this is hell and it does not want to stay, stay in here a second longer. So that's my story, the dude's story, the car story, the game story. A horrible looking game, and yes, the actual camera of the car, you can make it literally go miles and miles away from the car. Like, what's the point of that? What are we doing here? Does, does a car's camera really need to go this far off? I can't even see the car anymore. There is no point to this whatsoever. Thanks for watching. This is possibly the worst awful car driving game I ever played. A contender for the worst game ever. Period. The dude will see you next time. Goodbye, my friends.